Oh my god, so we're out in the shed. It's a cold, windy night. But we've got a diesel heater. I just wanted to show you what was inside the all-in-one diesel heaters that I featured previously on the channel. Um, and uh, what to expect when you're buying one of these beasts. There's the cover down there that I've taken off it. And uh, this is the unit, so you can see straight away that obviously there's not a great deal of space inside the case of the unit, which doesn't matter, that's not really what we're after. We're after yeah, compact form factor. Let's turn it on while we're whilst we're talking about it. Remember they always default to about mid-range. Okay, so as you can see, the most prominent thing you'll see in the top of them is their fuel pump. Uh, that is in a rubber rubber boot kind of thing. Then you've got fuel line here that is kind of probably a little bit long hanging around in there. Go over the other side. You've got the other half of the fuel line here going down to the unit. So this one probably needs purging because that line's actually empty. You see that? That says to me that that's gravity feeding down in there. Next thing you'll see up in there, two power terminals where our power comes in the back of the unit. There's also a fuse, connector for our pump, fuel tank. I believe they're about five litres. Apologise for the wind noise outside, it's horrible tonight. See that, it's not full. We might need to do a priming run to fill that hose up. So yeah, normally they're full. And we might see a little bit of smoke come out of it. And it's starting to rain too. That's nice. I can see the smoke, you might not be able to. But just like that, away she goes. I don't even know how it starts going. There's only like literally a trickle down in there. Get out main power harness there which is nice and short and they did, I gotta give them credit like they do a pretty neat job they mount the little front bit on we've got to change this over to a single port I don't know what these four port ones are commonly used for I'm sure someone would be able to tell me that you see it kind of making shots over there so yeah it's not horribly hard to change that if we undo these few screws in the front of the unit we take the front of the unit off put a single port one on them put it back together I do have one from an old diesel heater that a mate gave me that had failed. Obviously our air inlet, our combustion air inlet, which I've run through there. I'm going to get a bend, put it on the exhaust and bring the exhaust out the back, maybe even straight up. I've seen that done a couple of times. It looks quite successful. When you're taking the case lid off, you've just got these little spring clips. And what you've just got to do is take them off take your fuel cap off and once you take your fuel cap off the red bit lifts off I just love how easy they are to operate and being all in one it wouldn't matter if I was you know in a paddock having a camp or whether I'm in a workshop and you've got AC connected to a power supply like I have here it's a little power tech 40 amp power supply it's overkill it doesn't need to be that big one thing that's really good, Xbox 360 power supplies. But yeah, away they go. Just wanted to remind you that I've got affiliate links for these for banggood.com and ebay.com. So you can go either way with them. Well, it's up alive and kicking now. Just like that. And they're definitely a Definitely a good solution for your shed heater. Because one, they're quite easy to fire up, quite easy to use. Let's face it, a lot of us have all got diesel oil or something along those lines in our shed already. See what temperature it's up to. It's up to 100 and firing away. Yeah, we will have to purge that line out, I reckon. Thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show you what's inside one. I opened it up the other day with my buddy just for interest sake. I figured there'd be pretty much that. 
it's a false floor in here. Um, yeah, didn't think there'd be too much to it, and there's not. They're excellent, simple design. You can get these for like 160 Australian dollars, something like that. So probably 100 ish in the States. Yeah. I'll link them up in the video description as I always do. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we're about to buy a bunch of stuff off banggood.com again. So if you uh, are interested in buying something through them, happy to provide affiliate links to anything you want. Because um, I use that money to buy new things to feature on the channel, and I want to do a lot more of that. So, yeah, banggood.com are going to get hit up with some goodies, including induction heaters, because I've got a lot of a couple of pipe and wire coming. So, yeah, we're going to do some melting. Thank you very much for watching. Catch us in the next video.